way back in the 20s, they used what they call annealed glass, which was just a piece of plate glass like what they put in a house. If you went through it, it would just shatter into huge chunks and it tore people up bad. Laminated glass is basically a piece of thin, like eighth inch glass, a piece of plastic and then another piece of eighth inch glass. The plastic glues the two together so whenever they get hit or broke they can move but they can't separate and it's really hard to cut through it. The original car windows some of them went in from the inside with a rubber seal and then they were pushed out. They went from that design to a rubber gasket that was externally mounted that locked in so the window was bigger than the hole. Up until about 86 I think in 1986-87 they pretty much mandated that all windshields had to be urethaned in. They still can have a gasket, but if they do, it's supposed to be urethaned the gasket to the body and the glass to the gasket, like in a motorhome or a big semi or something like that. How they have it now is where there's a black matrix that goes around the window. That matrix is a UV protectant because urethane doesn't like UV very much. It's like the only thing that really breaks it down. The stuff cures pretty quick. It's super strong, structurally very strong. So that's kind of our evolution from where it was to where it is now. But overall the windshield has stayed the same.